and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with your brand new Cecilio violin. Now the violin that I've got today is the Mendini by Cecilio MV200 and when you open up the case you might get something that sort of looks a little bit like this. So you'll see that the bow is in some wrapping, um, the strings are very loose on the violin and the bridge probably isn't even attached. So I'm going to show you everything from literally receiving your violin in the post when you've ripped it out of the box like a child on Christmas Day, a little bit like I am when I'm getting all my equipment because I get very excited, to, to actually physically playing the violin itself. So the first thing that I would do when I take the violin out of the case is just to slightly slacken off the string. So just, I mean, they're already quite slack already uh, at the moment, so you don't need to slacken them too much more, but just sort of, I don't know, just a tiny little turn, just to loosen them, just so, enough so you can put the bridge in. Okay, the first thing you'll notice about the bridge is that one side of the bridge is lower than the other side of the bridge. So can you see that um, the side that I'm holding is lower, and the side, uh, the other side is actually higher. So this side is lower, and the other side is slightly higher. You can see that there is a slight kind of gentle curve there. You'll also notice there are some ridges on the, on the bridge where the strings go. Now what you need to do is to make sure that the shortest part of the bridge, or the lowest part of the bridge, must go to the right hand side. So if you've got the violin in front of you, um, the lowest string or the string on the left is the G string, which is the thickest string. Then you've got the D, then you've got the A, then you've got the E. So the lowest part of the bridge must be where the E string is and the highest part of the bridge must be where the G string is. To work out where to actually put the bridge, what you'll see is that inside these F holes that you've got here, can you see those two little points? There's, there's two points either side actually, but you want the little points which are uh, to, facing towards the middle of the violin. Now, if you drew a line from that little point to this point, you will find that the bridge should run straight the way through the middle of those lines. So I can just pop the bridge under, and what I'm gonna do is just move it into position so that the feet are exactly either side of those two little F holes there. And then once I do that, the, the strings should just pop into the groove. The other thing I need to make sure is that the bridge is standing completely upright. So you don't want to see any gap on the feet either side. The next thing I'm going to do is tune up the violin. So I've got separate videos on how to tune up the violin as well if you want to go, if you want to have a look at those. But basically you're just going to be at this stage just tightening up the pegs just a little bit, just to put some pressure on the on the bridge. So you can see I'm only doing it just a fraction at the moment. So it doesn't really matter what it sounds like right now. Then you can just slightly move the bridge. Now can you see the bridge is tilting there? So quite a lot. So what I want to do now is just move the bridge backwards so it's completely straight and just make sure that it is directly in the middle of those two little holes that we pointed out earlier. Plus, can you see the bridge is slightly off centre? So it's slightly towards this side. So I'm just going to gently now would be the time to do this. You cannot do this when the strings are too tight. So then gently just move it so it's in the middle all the time, just making sure that the bridge is totally a straight line. Then what you can do is go ahead and actually tune the violin. So again, I've got videos on these, but when you're tuning the violin, just make sure that each time you just, when each time you're moving the peg, make sure it's only going up a slight little notch and also make, keep making sure that the bridge is perfectly straight. It should take you about 15 to 20 minutes to tune the violin from scratch. Violin. You also get, um, you may or may not get some spare sets of strings as well, so if you do accidentally break a string whilst tuning, then you have got a spare set of strings here. But like I said, if, you, if, if you're just careful with the pegs when tuning, keep checking the bridge, do not yank the peg up, just, just little kind of millimetre by millimetre. Slowly but surely you'll get there and you will not break a string. The next thing you've got is a shoulder rest if you want one. Now these just grip onto the back of the violin. As you can see, this has been pushed shut at the moment. So if I put it on the back of the violin, it's, you know, on one side, it's, it's nowhere near big enough uh, to get to the other side. So what I would have to do is just do a little bit of, of measuring really. So I'm just going to unscrew unscrew the little screws and 
you know you can just pull it out and I'm going to place it on the back of the violin um, and then I can just actually that's fine so what I'm going to do is just tighten it up so that's ready to go for next time so it looks to me like this will fit a three-quarter size violin as well um, but you know you just just keep adjusting it until until you can get the right kind of size with it okay so the final thing to worry about is the bow just be careful when taking this you just use the little little screws here to undo and just gently take out the bow remove it from its plastic coating you won't need that anymore so you can get rid of that now what you need to do is tighten the bow so you can see the hairs are loose at the moment you just tighten the bow like you do here just until the hairs are tight and just until you've got like a little bend in the bow there you also have some rosin as well which looks like this now the first thing you need to do with the rosin um, which looks there you go so the rosin looks a little bit like this so the first thing you need to do with the rosin is just to scratch up the shiny surface and what I normally use for that is just something like a nail file just to gently scratch up the surface of the violin so I just get the nail file in there so you can now see that the surface has just been scratched up if you scratch up the surface you'll just find that the rosin will just grip a little bit more to the bow and then you just proceed to rosin the bow. So when you get your violin out of the box and you've set the bridge up and you just use tighten the bow and use it straight away, you'll get a nothing sound, you'll just get a kind of whispery sound. If you haven't put enough rosin on, or you think you've put enough on, and you're getting a kind of a whispery sort of sound here and there, you know, that kind of thing, then you haven't put enough rosin on and you need to put more. But this is what it sounds like with absolutely no rosin on the bone. No matter what I do, there's just nothing I can do about it. I can get a sound out of the lower section here because I have just put some rosin on my bow. And then... You can hear where I have and hear where I haven't. So I'm going to carry on and put some rosin on the bow for you and then I'll come back. Let's see if I put enough rosin on the bow. Yes, I have. You might see some powder flying off the bow, but that's absolutely fine. You won't need to put any ros more rosin on for quite a while. Um, but that probably took a good, it took me a good, good five or so minutes to put to put the rosin on to make sure it was fully coated. Um, and I probably still need to put some, some more on. So you want to make sure the bow goes from yellow to looking kind of powdery white. Make sure when you put the rosin on that you put it on the, the very ends of the bow as well rather than not just the middle so you need to focus on all of the bow as a whole there we go that's getting started on your cecilio or mendini violin i hope this video has been useful to you and please check out all my other videos and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video